For nearly 150 years, the Edward Minor Gallaudet residence, tucked in the southwest corner of Gallaudet University's campus, has been host to heads of state from near and far, housed the first co-ed students admitted to the Columbia Institution, and served as an apartment for numerous university faculty and staff members. But throughout the years, it has always been home to the presidents of Gallaudet University and their families. For the first time, the Edward Minor Gallaudet residence has been open to television cameras. First Lady Vicki Hurwitz takes us on a tour of this campus landmark. Frances Merrill, wife of President Merrill, searched extensively for furnishings that would fit with the Lincoln Room. You'll see many of the home's beautiful furnishings and unique features. And hear stories from former residents and visitors to this architectural treasure. When I came here in the fall of 1951, I was told that I had a room in House One. If you walk to House One and see the first front door, look up and you'll see the second floor. Look up more and you'll see the third floor. That small window was my room. House One feels like it belongs to all of us in the community because there are many artifacts in there that all of us should be aware of. House One really plays a central role in Deaf American history and culture. We should learn more about what happened in that house. Who went to that house? Who made decisions there? what kind of decisions were made there. That really impacts us as a culture and a community. We don't view House One as a museum. We live here and we entertain here, but this house truly belongs to the students and alumni of Gallaudet University. Join us as we take a peek inside the residence that on campus is simply known as House One. Welcome. <laughs>